Hey, this is going to be a book review of Before You Quit Your Job by Robert T. Kiyosaki. Now, at the very beginning of this book, he describes two people. There is the employee and the employer. The employee is a specialist, and they know a lot about a little. In other words, they know a lot about one specific thing. The other is an employer, and they are a generalist, which means that they know a little about a lot. They know they can see the big picture. Now, an employee has security, and a lot of people get this confused. They think that security and what the employer has, which is freedom, are associated with each other. They think security and freedom are the same thing. In fact, they are opposites. For example, the employee works out of fear. The employee works for security, the security of having a check twice a month, and for that he gives up his freedom. He may get paid twice a month, but it is out of fear. People go to college, most people generally go to college out of fear, in fact that they will not get a decent job and make enough to support their life and their family. And this is out of fear. Not very many people go to college, or at least you don't hear them going to college for the love of study or for the love of scholarship. Employers, however, do not go to college out of fear. They go out of to college in seeking knowledge, in seeking freedom, and they take the risk. They are giving up their security of a monthly or weekly paycheck for their freedom. That they may not be paid every two weeks, that they may not be paid twice monthly, but that eventually they may be paid every single day for a bigger reward. In fact, for many, the reward is the freedom of the way to spend their time, or the freedom of choosing which products to buy. Now, Robert T. Kiyosaki says that to become successful, to become a successful entrepreneur, you must be able to learn from your failures. You must be able to create many failures, because every failure leads you closer to success. He says that when he was young, he went door knocking to sell stuff. You know, those people that sell vacuums, or they sell nice little trinkets, but they sell those. And he said that he went around, and he was asking his rich dad how to obtain more yeses. He wanted to know how he could get more people to buy his stuff. And rich dad's reply was, you need to ask more people. And he realized that the more people said no, that also the more people said yes. And by asking more people, he started to become a better salesman. And by getting more no's from people, he eventually got more yeses by cultivating his skill. And I like the quote that everyone learns through mistakes, but there's no rule that they have to be yours. And you can put this into practice like, uh, let's take, for example, the first person who ate that poisonous berry. It didn't have to be your mistake, but you can definitely learn something from it. And you should, you should put this into practice by reading books every day and learning more. A lot of people think that if you win the lottery, that it's a quick fix and you're never going to have money problems again. But there's actually a fact that 70% of lottery winners lose money in less than five years, that they end up going bankrupt. And this is scary. And the reason of this is because they did not have enough failures they did not create for themselves failure so that they may have chance to learn from their mistakes, so that they may become successful. They did not learn how to manage that money. They did not learn how to earn that money, how to invest it properly. And this is what Robert T. Kiyosaki is explaining, is that you must get really, really in-depth and understand how to use your money through the failures that you have done in the past, or by reading books and learning from others' failure. He says that you can turn bad luck into good luck if you work on it long enough and you work on bettering yourself and making yourself a better person you have to learn how to learn instead of blaming instead of pointing fingers and it, he also mentions that Henry Ford was once asked what would you do if you lost a billion dollars and Henry Ford replied I'd have it back within five years and this is the type of person that you want to become you want to become the type of person that even if you ended up losing your money if everything you've ever owned was taken away from you. You have cultivated your skills, your value, your networking to a high degree that even if you lost all that money, you'd be able to get it back. That you have learned from those previous mistakes that you wouldn't have to make them again, that you'd be able to get it faster the next time. And I find this really interesting. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it.
subscribe for more.